<laughs> Welcome to Techno Dad Life, and my name is Jeff. Ever wish you had control over your digital life? Do you want to stream movies without buffering? Or store your memories securely? Or even build a home automation hub? Well, this week we're building something awesome, a home media server with Casa OS. So why a home server? So home servers offer a fantastic way to take control of your digital life, including hosting your data, media, and even applications privately and securely. But with so many possibilities, it can be tough to know where to start. And so these are the three most common reasons why people want a home server. So one is to escape the cloud. So basically the desire to ditch our data overlords and store our precious memories privately and even share files securely with friends and family and have them accessible from anywhere. Or we want to be media masters, so stream our movies, music, and TV to any device, no buffering or subscriptions. And finally, smart home hub. So controlled lights, thermostats, and more, all from your server throne. So enter Casa OS. So Casa OS is a one-stop server solution, easy to use and packed with features. So think of Casa OS as your own personal data oasis. So no more relying on the cloud for your photos, music, documents. They'll all be safe and sound right here in your own home. And with Casa OS, setting it up is a breeze, even if you're not a coding whiz. It runs seamlessly on Debian, actually. Leave a comment below with what you would like to be on your dream server. And if you love gadgets like I do, your server can become the brain of your smart home, controlling lights, thermostats, security systems, all from one central hub. It's like having a digital butler, but way cooler, and less likely to judge you on your sock drawer. So to get started, you'll need a computer with at least two gigabytes of RAM and 10 gigabytes of disk storage, also a keyboard, monitor, and a USB drive. First, you need to download Debian 11 or later. We want the net install version. Next, download Bella Anna Etcher and install it. We use this to burn our Debian ISO to the USB drive. Set your BIOS to boot from USB. You can get to your BIOS by usually pressing escape or delete when starting up. If that doesn't work, Google your computer for the proper key to enter the BIOS. Now reboot your computer with the USB drive installed, install Debian, and write down the root password and your username and password. At the end, don't install the desktop, only add an SSH server. When finished, remove the USB drive and reboot. Sign in as root and type in the following that's on the screen. If it errors, you may have to install sudo or bash or both. And how you do that is you type in app install sudo or app install bash, then up arrow to get back to the original command, and then hit enter. Once that is done loading, it will give you an IP address. Then go to your desktop and open a browser and enter the IP address. Create a user and login. Now a quick guide to uploading files installing the perfect minimalist home server software. First, we'll go to files and add some files for our demo. We're going to add four folders under our media folder. They are movies, music, and shows, and photos. And then we'll add something to each for test purposes. Next, we're going to install two programs, but first we had to add two folders for them. Plex can organize your videos, music, and photos. Home Assistant can manage your smart home. Once you've installed those, then you can explore around the operating system. Just know that building a server isn't just about the tech, it's about the community too. There's a whole world of helpful folks out there if you're in trouble, ready to share tips and tricks. So join the fun and learn from each other and unlock the full potential of your digital heaven. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, leave a comment below with your server aspirations. This is just the beginning of our digital adventures, so, so are you ready to take control of your digital life? Go install some Casa OS, channel your inner techno dad, and build something awesome. See you next time. Take care, techno dads and dadettes. Bye-bye.